Okay, so on the subject of viewings, okay, I was at a networking event two nights ago. A young lady at the back of the room put her arm up and said, when I go on viewings, should I bring a builder along with me? And some people said yes, some people said no. Now my opinion is, I don't really have an opinion. I think it depends on what your desired outcome is for bringing a builder. So a better question to ask is, why are you looking to bring a builder along with you? Now I'd say 90% of the people are bringing builders along to try and get an idea on what the build cost, their refurbishment cost might be, to turn that property into the desired level they hope to achieve. Now that's all well and good, okay? However, builders are good no matter how good they might be. Then walking around a house with you with five other people in 15, 20 minutes, which is your average viewing time, they're not gonna be able to give you a price. It literally is finger in air. The better thing to do, okay, in my opinion, is if you're gonna bring a builder along, ask him questions. What are you looking for when you're coming to look at a property like this? Are you looking at the condition of the soil stack? Are you looking at the roof? Are you looking at the foundation? What are you looking at? Because once you get an idea of what he's looking for, you can start putting that in your own checklist. But more importantly, the better thing to do is when you're at a viewing, you've got 20 minutes, right? So use that 20 minutes wisely. Gather as much information as you possibly can. Once you get home, write a list of all the things that you believe that need to be rectified. Now you're starting to build what we call a specification. If you approach a builder now with photos and a line by line specification of the work that you think needs to be done, change the kitchen, install a new bathroom, put a new boiler, okay? He's now gonna start getting an idea of what that cost will be. And that, in my opinion, is a much better way to utilize a builder's time. If you do enough of those, and you refine the process, which is exactly what I did, you then start to get a scope of works and an idea of what each line by line, what the costs are associated to that. That allows you now to be able to get a more accurate refurb budget. So that's a sort of a, a long answer to a short question. Should you build, bring a builder along with you? It depends on your outcome, okay? It depends what you're hoping to achieve. But I hope that's been useful uh, and something you can take away from today.